Hello Bears fans and welcome to edition number two of Roaring on the Road here on HersheyBears.com presented by Travel Champs. I'm Scott Stuccio. Well, your Bears are back in town practicing this week with a rare day here at Twin Ponds East, and they're coming off of a decent weekend down in Hampton Roads. Taking a close decision, the Norfolk Admirals did on Saturday, 5-4. to four. The Bears stayed in it, but on Monday in a rare matchup against the Admirals at Scope, the Bears coming away with a hard-fought but not nearly as close decision. For those who have not seen the team practice or who weren't some of the lucky few who made the trip to the Tidewater, here is all you need to know before purchasing your opening night tickets to see this team against Wilkes-Barre Scranton. First, the team can score. Your Bears are entering the second weekend of play as leaders in first period goals with five of them. And with nine goals overall, the team is tied for second place in goals per game average among clubs that have played two or more games so far. Second, the team has a high compete level, and that includes third periods. Remember the Bears of last season who were outshot, sometimes by a large margin, when games were on the line? Not the case this year. Hershey took a combined 74 shots on goal last weekend, 32 of them coming in first periods, a number which leads teams that have played two games or less. Finally, the AHL's early season leading scorer wears the chocolate and white. Veteran center Chris Newberry recorded five points on the weekend visit, three points and second star honors on Saturday, then two goals including the game winner and number one star recognition on Monday. Newberry also combined with Dane Byers and Philippe Cornet to produce a strong power play performance on Saturday. Chris, just talk about the last weekend. Good start on Saturday, like the rebound of the uh, game on Monday was a really good comeback, and you're finding yourself on top of the league scoring. Just talk about the, the team you have working with to start the season right now. Yeah, I thought uh, we came out pretty good in the first game. Unfortunately, we gave up a, a couple uh, shorthanded goals and kind of put us behind the eight ball. So um, we responded well in the second game, and, uh, you know, it looks like we got uh, a lot of fast guys on the team and we're willing to work hard, so should be a good year. Good luck this weekend. All right, thanks. In the early going, several Bears players have a reason to be singled out. Goaltender Phoenix Copley became the first Bears netminder since Jared DeMichael to win his AHL debut when his 29 save performance earned second star honors on Monday at Norfolk. The win also meant the first coaching victory for Troy Mann, Brian Helmer, and Ryan Murphy. Cornet, an AHL All-Star, produced a goal and an assist on Saturday, both on the power play, solidifying his top spot as a top winger. And shifty, speedy forward Chris Connor got on the board in Monday's win, another welcome offensive veteran added to the lineup. So what lies ahead for the Bears this coming weekend? Two teams that have played just one game, but won them both. And veteran defenseman Mike Moore knows them all too well. Mike, uh, two familiar weekend opponents to the Bears, but probably even more familiar to you playing against them all the time when you were with Providence last year. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, we had a really good uh, playoff series last year. Providence in Springfield uh, went to five games in the first round, so um, could have gone either way. And uh, they, uh, they're, you know, they both teams were, uh, you know, hard to play against last year. So we know uh, we're going to have to be prepared. The Springfield Falcons, champions of the Northeast Division last season, will let everyone know that they reign supreme this Saturday night as a banner-raising ceremony will precede the Falcons' home opener against Hershey. Last year, led by former Bears captain Brad Larson, Springfield reached the century mark with a record of 47-23-1-5, including 23 wins at the Nest, known as Mass Mutual Center. Larson's promotion opened the door for his assistant coach, Jared Bednar, to take the reins this season, and so far, so good. The Falcons opened the campaign with a 3-1 win at Syracuse. Falcons captain Ryan Craig, also a former Bear, notched a shorthanded empty net tally to cap off the victory as time expired. The Bears and Falcons will meet again in Hershey on December 20th with the Bears holding a pregame ceremony this time to honor the third class of Hershey Bears Hockey Club Hall of Fame inductees. The Bears' second two-day weekend of games will wrap up with a mid-afternoon tilt against the Hartford Wolfpack on Sunday in Connecticut's capital. AHL Hall of Famer Ken Jernander returns to the pack bench to guide even more recent familiar faces to Hershey fans everywhere. Calder Cup champion Chris Bork, who was reunited with his brother Ryan after signing with the Rangers organization in the offseason, picked up two assists in his pack debut on Sunday at Syracuse. Bork made some Hartford history as his second assist came in the new three-on-three -three overtime format, helping Hartford to a 4-3 win. Although not on the score sheet, center Ryan Petolny was on the ice to help out in the pack's game tying goal in the third period. Petolny led the Bears with 33 goals in 2011-12 and led the AHL with 19 power play markers that same year. 
one year removed from winning the Calder Cup himself with the Binghamton Senators. The Bears will play the pack three more times after Sunday. The teams have a double header of sorts as they meet Saturday and Sunday, November 8th and 9th at Giant Center. The season series then finishes in Hartford on March 7th, the second day of a stretch of games that will see the Bears play eight of nine on the road. With Springfield's banner raising ceremony taking place pregame this Saturday, faceoff is expected to be delayed about 15 minutes past the 7 o'clock hour. We'll still be on the air with the MNC Foreign Car Parts pregame show. 620 will begin that one. And on Sunday, at the newly renovated XL Center in downtown Hartford, the Bears and the Wolf Pack will face off at 3 p.m. Pregame is at 2.20. I'm Scott Stuccio. Thanks for watching Roaring on the Road, presented by Travel Champs, and we'll talk to you this weekend from New England.